welcome back to the channel and we're going to be introducing this new car today but not in the way I wanted went to uh, set off home the other night rubbing sound coming from the driver's front wheel car springs gone don't know how that's happened parked it up it was fine moved off wasn't fine but uh, I'll just show you it it's the, uh, what was it, it's a 2009 BMW 320D M Sport. Um, it's quite nice, leather seats. Aero kit on it, I think, is what uh, what it is. Not entirely certain. Um, the steering wheel is what's uh, intriguing me. Look at this. Flat bottomed with the little uh, marker thing at the top. Never seen one of these on a, one of these... E90s before, and uh, been a few, been in a few, repaired a few, test driven a few. Um, yeah, nice, like it. Uh, we'll have a look around the outside. All right then, on. let's have a look, shall we? I tell you what, we're in good company here. If we have a look, look at this Volvo V70 R. With a remap on it, about 350 brake horse. But this is mine. Carbon fibre lip spoiler. 19 inch wheels, staggered. So these rear ones are wider than the fronts. It's on lowering springs all around. I think the shock has gone as well. It advised this shock about a year ago. And there's the body kit. And then you can see here. Yeah, I'm probably, I'm pretty certain if I give us some light, some a bit of light, you can see there <laughs> the spring is, uh, yeah. Almost touching the brake disc. Bollocks. Look at that. It's that bit first job to do. Yeah, it's not bad. Got my plate on it. There's the kit from this angle, body kit. Quite like it. Yeah. The roof's wrapped in gloss black. Not sure if the mirrors are or if they're standard. Yeah, there's the little uh, the little Fiat beast. Shortened plates, 4D plates as well. From uh, roller plates. Looking good. Yeah. Not bad at all. So, back in the car. If we start it up, first thing is, needs a service. Second thing, well, traction control light was coming on. And uh, classic BMW fault. Uh, it was sort of jolting back and forth, wouldn't put the power down. Um, but if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know. I think maybe the second or third video I ever did was uh, on the ABS rings on these drive shafts um, and that's common fault on these but uh, to actually even be able to drive it I had to unplug one of the ABS sensors so that's why all them lights are on so second job will be them ABS rings look at this nice little gear, gear selector handbrake cable yeah it's alright for me Apparently, as well, if we have a look through service history, what have we got? There is a dyno print out here. It's had some uh, DPF remodeling, that's <laughs> what they've called it. And then we've got, yeah, dyno print out. 
what are we on? 212.1 horsepower, 438.4 newton meters of torque. Yeah, and that was done in, uh, when was that? 2015, five year ago. I imagine the map's still on the on the car, I would think. Yeah, I think it's the same owner that's, that's had it. Yeah. So that's a nice little, uh, little extra. Yeah, so that is um, yeah. all for now. Just introducing this car and some of the faults. Not all of them. <laughs> but uh, firstly, we need to do that spring. It's on lowering springs, so I'm going to have to get a set of two, I think. Two new lowering springs, just for the front. And then um, we'll do them speed rings at the back. I've got them in my toolbox. They were as cheap as on uh, different beamers. Don't know why. About 30 quid, I think they were, for the pair. But it's still cheaper than a pair of drive shafts. Yeah, and then hopefully, we should be somewhere near. Do it in, do it in oil and filter as well. Because these, it's the N47 engine that's notorious for uh, timing chains failing, or the guides failing, and uh, rattling like hell. I've done a few of them as well. Um, it's either engine out job to do it or gearbox out either way it's uh, not easy it's not right at the front of the engine like uh, like you'd hope it would be but yeah that's all for this video hopefully next time we'll be uh, repairing it get it back on the road thanks for watching and we'll see you next time cheers bye like share subscribe the car lovers channel